hello pisces my awesome soul brothers and sisters i missed you guys pisces it's sunday happy sunday to you i hope you off from work today and relaxing pisces you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate first as usual we're gonna ask what's coming up for you what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's on their mind? What are they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Pisces? Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Pisces in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's do this, Pisces. Mm. Oh my goodness, who are these people overwhelming you? stressing you out with their drama you feel overburdened yeah so you know where it is in your life whether it's family or friends or neighbors or co-workers you are overwhelmed by people's drama people bickering arguing gossiping and it's affecting you negatively hmm Emotionally, you are affected emotionally as well. Stay away from toxic people. Yeah. You feel overwhelmed. Yeah. You feel drained emotionally. You feel unappreciated. Mm -hmm. This is you seeing clearly that some people do not belong in your life. That you need to walk away from certain situations, relationships, connections. Because it's draining you emotionally yeah universe please show us as far as your soulmate is concerned you care for that person but you feel empty in that situation you feel emotionally unfulfilled yeah universe please show us what's coming up for pisces and how is pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey Ooh, new person entering your life. So there's somebody new approaching you. Yeah, I love the King of Pentacles energy with Four of Wands. Yeah, for most of you, your drama has to do with your family members. You see this? People arguing, bickering, fighting. Yeah. Mm. I left all my toxic relatives behind. Yeah. I told them just because they're my family members doesn't give them the right to mess up my life. And I, yeah, you're leaving. Yeah. Look at this. People, whoever these people are, I really, they, they really betrayed your trust, hurt you. You're trying to let them go. You see this? You feel bound to them. You feel like you need to escape from that toxic situation. Yeah. This is you freeing yourself of some toxic people in your life, whether it's in the family friendships at work this is you walking away from toxicity healing you feel that your soulmate does not communicate with you effectively does not listen does not express emotions you view them as very rigid stubborn difficult to communicate with yeah this new person i love the new person's energy yeah yeah, this is you communicating, meeting somebody new. Ooh, what's going on with the uh, family situation? Drama, the tower moment. So for most of you, this already happened. For some of you, it's brewing. It's about to happen. Yeah, don't let people drag you into their self-created drama. Don't take sides. Stay neutral. Yeah. This is you taking your power back, moving on with your life, not allowing people to control you, manipulate you. Mm, Pisces, good for you. Yeah, absolutely. People who are toxic cannot be in your life because they'll drain you. 
for certain. Yeah, they will drain you and they'll get used to it. They'll think they're entitled to be in your life. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces. And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? You are very intuitive, very psychic. You have wisdom. Listen to your intuition. Yeah. Yeah, you see, you're going to have to make a decision, more than one decision that's going to affect your life seriously. So that includes some of your either close friends or family members and also your soulmate connection. Yeah. Yeah, this is you trying to heal from heartbreak and disappointment in life. Yeah. Uh oh, what are these people doing? So some of them uh, are deceiving you. Yeah, there's like hidden things on purpose from you, but they'll come to the surface. The lies will be exposed. The truth will be revealed. You see this? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, don't let people manipulate you. Yeah, stay away from toxic people who have drama, who are negative, who gossip. Yeah, who are jealous. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I stay away from all toxic people. And I am very, um, what's the word? I'm very strong when it comes to having boundaries, healthy boundaries. I don't allow people to disrespect my boundaries. They, if they disrespect it or try to disrespect it, they out for life. That's it. There's no coming back. Yeah. I don't allow people to drain me, manipulate me. Mm -hmm. You have to be very strong-willed, yeah, to, to be able to do that. And, and you have to believe in yourself, yeah. Universe, because if you hesitate, they'll feel that hesitance in you, yeah. And they'll prey on you. Mm -hmm. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of pisces that pisces is away from what's going on currently with the soulmate of pisces that pisces is letting go of and how is that soulmate of pisces towards pisces at this time the soulmate that showed up as emperor with ego and pride this person that you're letting go of for now wants you back they don't want to lose you <clears throat> Yeah, you see, they see your worth value. You are an empress energy. You hold high vibration. You have high standards. You are a catch in a relationship. Yeah. So they see your worth value, how much you mean to them. But the energy is the opposite of yours. Theirs is low vibration. Yours is high vibration. Your back is turned towards them. They know that you don't respect them anymore. They know. They see a difference in your behavior, in your energy, in your demeanor. Yes, they don't communicate effectively. They don't listen. They are in and out of your life. Their behavior is wishy-washy, confusing. They're just a page. You see this? They're not even showing up as a knight. They're showing up as a page, which means they've been acting so immaturely, but pretend to be an emperor, someone in control, in charge of their life. You see? They don't want to see you with a new person. So new person is entering your life. The new person is showing up for the second time as King of Pentacles. I love King of Pentacles. So this describes a person who is mature, grounded, reliable, consistent, marriage material, high vibration. The person that you letting go of, you don't trust them based on their behavior towards you. They disrespected you. Yeah. Ooh. This is not good because justice is reversed. They created so much karma for themselves that they're going to have to balance. We all have karma to balance, but it looks like this person created a lot of karma. They haven't been taking accountability for their mistakes in life. You see this? Yeah. Whenever justice is reversed, that's not good. That's That shows that this person created a mess that they're going to have to fix. Yeah, they're going to have to... Take care of this. Yeah, this is serious because justice is reversed. And it's showing up in the subconscious position, which is even more concerning. It's like they ignore the signs. They ignore it. They don't take accountability for the mistakes. That's not good. Mm -mm. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate that truly is just a page of swords, not emperor. 
Rose, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces. They do love you, though. That's one positive thing that shows up from this person towards you is that, that they love you, but they don't express it, don't show it. You walked away from them. You did. You let them go. This person's ego is very deeply hurt that you let them go. Yeah, you see? However, they recognize clearly why you have to let them go, that they messed up so badly. All of a sudden, they want to come towards you, but they're so slow to action. Showing up as Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, some kind of offer that you can believe in. They want to prove themselves to you. That's so they know they messed up. They're quiet, they're heartbroken, they sad. Yeah. Hmm. Universe, please show us. <clears throat> A lot of you are dealing with Taurus and Libra popping up here. Uh, what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces? They're very stubborn. They don't like to show. They are emotionally vulnerable. Yeah. Hmm. Leo popping up here. And Virgo. See? The new soulmate popping up again for the third time as King of Pentacles. I love King of Pentacles energy. You see, because you're not clinging to this relationship anymore. You're not giving yourself false hopes that some miracle is going to occur and this person is going to grow up overnight. You know that's not going to happen. By releasing them, uh, you creating positive new energy. You're opening up for new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Yeah, that's beautiful. The person that you let go of wants so badly to communicate with you, but the sword is pointing down. They have very hard time initiating communication, showing emotional vulnerability. They want to so badly see you. This means apologies. They want to make amends with you. This means gifts, explanations. Hmm. They want to make it up to you. But this concerns me. The difference in energy between you and them is enormous. Yeah. And this is even more concerning. Reversed justice. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Pisces. And how is this soulmate of Pisces? So it's Pisces at this time. Wow. So how many times has the new soulmate showed up as king of Pentacles. Uh, this person that you let go of doesn't want to see you with somebody else. <clears throat> yeah. You had to let them go, though. You, you, you had to let them go. They caused you a lot of emotional setbacks, heartbreak. The person that you let go of loves you, but they have a weird way of showing that love to you. Yeah, you see, the cups are empty. They're not expressing this love they feel for you. The cups are empty. They made you feel so disrespected, so unappreciated, so empty inside. We're going to go into your extended reading. We're going to ask about this soulmate, but also the new soulmate that keeps popping up as King of Pentacles. First, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, king of pentacles, energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, Job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys. Major changes coming to you. Wow.